Jeez, what did Cory do? Order everything extra crispy? Hi, this is the Professional Amateur Hour coming to you with another review. This week, Leo sent me The Raising. And this 2022 film was directed and written by J.R. Kane and stars Jack Wooten, Mia Hefner, and Dawson Millen, among others, of course. The story of this movie follows these people as they attend this, I guess, birthday party at the end of the world. And then they start, you know, popping some pills and some secrets come up from their past. But what will happen exactly? Well, you have to watch the movie and find out. All right, so let's discuss this movie. Well, what works about it? Well, with this one, it is kind of like this more, I don't know, metaphysical type of film where you're not really told that much. You're barely told anything. And it is apparently like the end of the world. However, it's supposed to be, I guess, kind of like a religious end of the world, like the rapture. But I don't know. It seems like it's like a reverse rapture where uh, everybody burns instead of, you know, being sucked up to heaven. And then, you know, all of the non-believers are left or whatever. And that was interesting. It's definitely very subtle. They only really talk about it in like one scene, maybe two. And so the information that the audience is given is very slight with that. So you really have to kind of extrapolate on that idea. And so there are definitely, you know, nuggets of ideas, uh, you know, bedded deep inside of this if you're really looking for a think. In addition, with this movie, there are always poppin' pills. Um, it kind of seems like an interesting idea as well. It reminds me a lot of the book, what's it called, Brave New World, where the government gives everyone, uh, I think it's like called Soma in that book, to, to have a little, you know, relaxed party or whatever. And this one, like, thinking about, like, where they get these drugs, like, why are they taking these drugs and whatnot, it kind of seems like a similar idea to Brave New World, but... That might be me just trying to impose meaning on it. Also with the pills themselves, they're red, white, and blue pills. Um, and if they're from, you know, the government, right? The red, white, white, and blue pills, you know, work perfectly. And I don't know, it just seems like it's kind of like a message or something they're trying to tell you as well. Because they always like want the white pill or to, to go for a dream or whatever. Um, because I guess the, the white pill is the American dream, right? There's the blue pill. I think they call it like true blue or something. And then they have the red pill and they just start popping red pills as they are kind of the most extreme pill. And they also take you farther away from reality from the other ones. And so like thinking about it, like they're just popping these red pills, like red pill after red pill. And I was thinking, like, is this a is this a message? Like, I don't know. Um, so definitely, there's interesting kind of concepts, or at least uh, predict. Um, what's it called? So it is a really interesting depiction of this world, and so you can really kind of go deep into it if that's what you want. And that brings me to what doesn't work with this film. Well, I gotta say, it's all out of focus. And I'm not even joking about that. Every scene is out of focus, and then they crank it so that it is in focus. Um, and so, like, throughout the whole thing, every time someone starts talking, they'll be out of focus. You know, then you eventually understand who they are when, when they do finally focus it. And it's just so distracting the whole time. Maybe I can clip it in here for you. I give up. This <laughs> you guys go back to talking about whatever it was you were talking about. And so throughout the whole movie, it's like that. Even like towards the end, like they start out of focus and then they get in focus. It's just very kind of disorienting. I guess they're taking these pills that are supposed to, you know, bring you away from reality. But I would, can't imagine you wanted to disorient your audience in that fashion. And so, yeah, that's definitely my biggest complaint. In addition, I really did not like the main character. He's a complete, like, douchebag. He is very manipulative, very controlling, and, and very, like, gaslighting as well. He's just, like, telling people stuff just to hurt them. Very much a psychopath, I would say. And he does not make me want to follow him or follow his story or, or how he, you know, is related to these people. And the whole, like, situation itself, the whole party, the way it's written makes it seem like the person who wrote it has never been to a party. They even say, like, this is supposed to be a party, right? 
um, so let's do this or let's do that. But at the same time, I'm like, I've never done that at a party, you know? Um, and so things like that definitely kind of kept me away from really engaging with the characters with, you know, the bigger idea, sure, but with the characters themselves, not too much. And with how little they give you about the bigger ideas, um, you get more time to think about them, I guess, but at the same time, it's not that engaging. Um, so that definitely, you know, kept my heart away from this movie. Other than that, there's a lot of other things that kind of make this a very disorienting movie. For example, it's supposed to be the apocalypse or like the end of days or something, but the rules are never really explained. All you know is that some things burst into flames, but you don't really know why or, or what's going on with that. Like, even for an example, it's supposed to be a birthday, so they have a birthday cake that's rainbow colored or rainbow layered, and it just bursts into flames. I know, it's ridiculous. I'll clip it in here for you. And so that was like very surprising, just kind of like out of left field, like what's going on? A bunch of other stuff as well. For example, characters just start kissing like <laughs> for no reason. Um, and you're just like, why? I thought they were with them, but it doesn't really matter. You know, don't go along with the characters. Just go along with, I guess, the more kind of plot points. Um, what else? Oh, they also never leave this like hotel floor. And so like, that is, I think, kind of detrimental to understanding what, what the message is or what the bigger world is. And so that was definitely hard. So it's just hard to really kind of get into it and, and really understand what's going on. And that would bring me to who I would recommend this movie for. Well, if you're into kind of more abstract movies and you really think deep about them and the messages, uh, because I have that whole message about the red pill that's kind of in there and stuff. And so if you're looking for like a really deep think, sure, why not if you want to check it out. As for rating, I'm going to give it the risky score of 2.3 because it's a big risk if you decide to press play. And with that being said, I think that's all I wanted to say. So like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. <laughs>